This is Lynn Jacob. I am founder of MLJinternational.com. As a business performance coach, I work primarily with men in business, from business suits to construction boots. If you own a business or if you're leading a team in a business, so you're a manager, uh, department manager, regional manager, that sort of thing, I can help you. The way I help people is through training on seven simple strategies that exist in every business, the big corporates as well, and I've dramatically simplified them to help you with simple rubber hits the road, tried and true tactics. So from my training, then you have ideas, and most of the ideas are as simple as you know, I've thought about doing that before. I train on simple strategies and I offer simple, simple, simple tactics. You come up with your own ideas and I coach you on following all the way through to fruition on your ideas. And my tagline, if you will, I really detest that word tagline, like something following behind. It's more like the driver of my business is fun has never been so profitable. So that's what you'll see on my webpage, mljinternational.com. Fun has never been so profitable. And I help people get the fun back into business. One fellow said to me, and it's not about the money, because it was mainly about the money for the people I was working with in the beginning. And then it got to be time. And now for him, he said, it's not fun anymore. I don't know if I want to keep doing this, but I don't have any options. I don't have any other alternatives. My family counts on me. What we did is we helped him get the fun back. And one of the things he did while he was in one of the programs with me, he was going on her field trip that day. Four children, she was number four, and it was his first time to go on a field trip with one of his children. Talk about melting my heart. <laughs> yes, and that's what it's all about for me. So ask me your questions. How can I help you to get the fun back into your business. This is what helps your profits grow. In fact, many of my clients have tripled their profits within months. I'm serious. And so many people, when they first hear this, say, are you kidding? No way, it's not possible. Sure it is. I have the type of business that gives me the freedom that, you know, that most people, most people dream of in their businesses. What this means for me is that I happen to have uh, brought my children down to uh, see uh, Walt Disney World. So I have two girls and in between them they have four children. As I was coming down and yes I drove. Why? Because I love adventure and let me tell you about the adventure, the unexpected adventure that we had coming down. So I have two daughters. One of my daughters is an adventurous soul like her mom and the other one is an adventurous soul who likes to fly. <laughs> well, she's married to a pilot after all. The thing was is that we had made this plan about a month in advance to come down here to Disney World. And I said, I want to drive. Anybody want to join me? Well, of course, my younger daughter, Rish, says, of course. So she comes to meet me with her daughter in Montreal. And then in the morning, we hit the road. Now, it started snowing sometime in the evening. And that's not going to slow me down. It's not going to stop me. So we are on the road, we're in Montreal, we're stuck in traffic. That's okay, it's, you know, it's rush hour traffic. It's Monday morning, it was about 8.30, I think, by the time we hit the road. All's good. We get out onto the highway, driving along to cross the border in Ontario, and we see cars in the ditch. Anyway, we keep going, and we keep going, and we see more and more cars in the ditch. We see more and more tractor trailers jackknifed upside down we're getting near Syracuse New York it should have been I don't know two hours to get there it's probably at the three and a half hour mark now because we're going at a snail's pace an ambulance with all its lights flashing upside down that didn't look good I mean it looked worse than most of the rest and we keep on going and so we stop south just just south of Syracuse to get fuel and to stretch our legs and that sort of thing and we hear they had already received 14 inches from the night before, and that was more than they had received by mid-January last year. Okay, so what are we gonna do? Are we gonna stop? Now, let's say this were a change we were gonna make in our business. It's an idea we had, or an opportunity that came to us, yes, I want that opportunity. Or the idea came, hey, let's go to Disney, and I wanna drive. Okay, we start and things aren't great. You'd be surprised, maybe. 
How many business owners will stop at that point as soon as it's not great? Oh, this excuse, that excuse, everything. Okay, fine. So they stop. Well, then there are many more who continue. So we continue. We go through the rush hour traffic. We get into another province and the snow is showing us that there are all kinds of vehicles in the ditches. And many people at this point in their business stepping into a new idea would have said, oh, this is just getting too complicated. No, we better turn back. Maybe we'll do this another time, right? We carry on and we go south of the border and the snow is thicker, heavier, more plentiful, many more cars in the ditch. In fact, we saw this one sign, my daughter took a picture of it and it said, slippery when wet or something like that and just past it. You can see the tracks right there from that sign. Just past it was a car right into the woods between trees. Well, that should have been enough to turn us around. Or the time that I pulled out into the passing lane to get past this truck so that I could see and I didn't have a slop on my windshield all the time. And I sat out there for a bit and I tried to get, you know, enough confidence in the traction that I had to be able to speed up to get past him. And I said, no, no, it's, it's just not there, not doing it. So I got back in behind him. I didn't turn around. I didn't stop. I kept going a little bit more slowly than anticipated, but I kept going. Other cars came whooshing by us, and the car that went last whooshing by us, he was in the ditch within a mile. So we stayed there and we kept on coming, and by about the south of uh, Pennsylvania, it was all clear and smooth sailing from there on in. But we kept going. At any point along the way, so many entrepreneurs stop stepping into their idea. So they're, they're not, they haven't really made the decision. They've all got a plan B or a plan C. And if you've ever had an idea for growing your business that you say to me, well, I tried that. Did you try it or did you do it? The thing is, is that you do it consistently and persistently and sometimes you have to slow down but you keep going you don't stop that's what I help people do in their businesses is I help you keep going when there's rush hour traffic I help you keep going even when there's a storm I help you keep going even when the storm gets really bad because out the other side it's smooth sailing and that's the difference between those who who actually implement the change all the way to success and those who try.